Nelson Chamisa's secret strategy to bring Zimbabwe to prosperity has been exposed, from the pulpit to the White House. Nelson Chamisa, the 45-year-old opposition leader and self-declared divine messenger, asserted to a rocker strong that he alone has the ability to yield Zimbabwe's failing economy in a spectacular display of confidence and charisma. With just a few days until the election to replace current President Emerson Nimkogwa, Chamisa's bold statements have sparked a national debate that has captured the nation's attention. I received a call to do this. My goal is to complete the task left unfinished by Morgan Spangerai, Joshua Komu, and Robert Mugabe. At a rally on July 16, the 45-year-old politician told supporters assembled in Gweru, in central Zimbabwe, when I'm done, I'll claim I've fixed the country. A spiritual path from the pulpit to politics. Nelson Chamisa, an ordained preacher, bar train attorney, and political zealot, has set out on a quest to change the political climate in Zimbabwe. Chamisa has skillfully combined his positions as a spiritual leader, legal expert, and political figure by drawing on his wide background to win over disenchanted individuals, especially the country's young people who long for change. The rematch and appeal for fairness. Chamisa, who feels Umnim Gogwa rigged the 2018 elections to prevent him from winning is determined to change the course of history. While the ruling ZANU-PF has maintained an iron grip on power since Zimbabwe's independence, political commentators and even Chamisa himself have compared the upcoming fight to the biblical story of David and Goliath. The rematch is set for August 23rd. A declaration of hope. The downtrodden masses have responded favorably to Chamisa's promises of social and economic change. In his manifesto, he lays out lofty goals including financial stability, the development of a $100 billion economy, and the creation of astonishing 2.5 million new employment over a five-year period. His policy proposal is lauded by both supporters and observers as a potential slingshot to smash the myriad problems afflicting Zimbabwe. An election of popularity. According to recent Elite Africa research polls, Chamisa is in the lead, receiving a commanding 47.6% of the vote versus Umengogwa's 38.7%. These numbers show a groundswell of enthusiasm for the charismatic opposition leader, who has successfully converted his pulpit zeal into enthralling campaign rallies and passionate social media posts, resonating with the public yearning for a better future. A contentious climb. Yet, there has been some dispute surrounding Chamisa's rise to power. His participation in a significant Supreme Court case where he defended a business against employees' rights is cited by detractors as evidence that he is not as committed to socialism as he professes to be. In addition, his contentious ascent to the MDCT party's leadership following the death of Morgan Spangerai led to disputes within the party and charges of an unprocedural power grab. In the face of all odds, Chamisa is unfazed by his detractors and is steadfast in his quest of a wealthy Zimbabwe. The persistent politician continues to mobilize his fans despite obstacles like alleged security agent attacks on party members and police limits on protest permits. He is unfazed by the struggles that lay ahead. On July 1st, he tweeted, I come against all wrongdoing in the powerful name of the Lord. You come against me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies, whom you have defied, David answered to the Philistine, Chamisa recalled. The country of Zimbabwe is preparing for the electoral battle and is waiting in suspense to see if Chamisa's divine mission would lead to victory or if Umnengogwa's expertise and incumbency will prevail. There is little doubt that the fight for Zimbabwe's future has never been more exciting and the conclusion will determine the future of a country that longs for change.